Wholesaling houses, flipping houses. Wholesaling houses, flipping houses. What do I do? It's all over TikTok. Everything about wholesaling real estate, and there's a thousand shows on HGTV like white people renovating houses. White people renovating houses. In this video, I'm gonna break down the pros and the cons of both wholesaling and flipping real estate. So whether you're living in your grandma's basement and make $10 an hour, or you make six figures a year and have a beautiful family home, you can figure out the best way for you specifically to get started in real estate. Now, flipping and wholesaling real estate are the two most popular ways for people to gain entry into the field. Now, me personally, I started my real estate journey about a year and a half ago, wholesaling houses, and now I'm just wrapping up my first flip. I'm gonna share a little bit of my experience with both wholesaling and flipping so you guys can see the ups and the downs involved with each and see which one would be better for you to start with. Now a lot of you have been messaging me on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube because you weren't sure if you should get started with wholesaling because maybe it seems a little bit confusing to you or you weren't sure if you should get started with flipping because you don't quite have enough money to purchase and rehab a house. But I'm here to tell you that no matter how much money or whatever position you're in you can start with either if you play your cards right. So first, let me break down what each one is and how it works. Now, I'm sure most of you know what flipping is. It's all those shows, like I said, on HGTV where you take a shitty house, you make it look like a nice house, and then you sell it and make a profit. Super simple and straightforward. Wholesaling, on the other hand, is a little bit more complicated in theory, but it works pretty straightforward. You get a house under contract as if you're going to purchase it, and you assign that contract to somebody else that wants to purchase it for a higher price, and you keep the difference as a wholesale fee. For example, one of my recent wholesale deals, I got under contract for $80,000, I signed that contract to a flipper for $90,000, and I made 10 grand on it. Now, I personally, like I said, started my real estate journey with wholesaling. Now, I chose to do this because I had basically no money, and I didn't know how to flip a house with no money at the time, so I thought this was my only entrance into real estate. Now, I spent 10, 12-hour days for months texting and calling people and being told to shut up. And it was very tedious, very grueling work. It required learning a bunch of new shit. So every day when I wasn't texting somebody or calling somebody, I was doing research. There's a lot of sitting at the computer and long hours. And you kind of got to be ready to grind if you're going to get into wholesaling. You know, some of my successes are, I once made $50,000 in a 30 day span wholesaling real estate. However, I also went four months without making any money wholesale real estate. So you're gonna have a lot of ups and downs, ebbs and flows. There's a little bit of security because you never actually own property. However, you also never know when you're gonna get another deal or if somebody's gonna like your deal and the anxiety of not getting paid for a prolonged period of time definitely is something to consider. But those are just some of my experiences that I had wholesaling. Some people took a year to get a deal. Some people never went a month without making money. It's gonna depend on a few things but it definitely ebbs and flows. And then, like I said, my first flip is just finishing up now. So some of the things that I ran into during my first flip were change orders, which is when you find new shit that's wrong with the house and it gets tacked onto your rehab budget. It cost me over three grand in change orders. It's also ended up taking about four months and the whole process was only supposed to take about two and a half. So the timeline got extended, which is a bummer. But overall, I'm set to make about 15 to 20 grand and potentially be owning my first rental when it's all said and done so overall it's been a great experience i'm not complaining but flipping also has its own sets of challenges things that make it better and not quite as good as wholesaling so let's get into the general overall pros and cons of wholesaling real estate all right so some of the major pros are you can get started with very little money even right now i'm running a pretty sizable wholesale business with my partner and our operating expenses are hovering around 1200 dollars a month it's really not a lot when you think about the fact you can make 10, 20, 30, $40,000 a month off of that little investment. And when I first started wholesaling, I only had about $500 and that was just enough to last me until I was able to close my first deal about two, three months after I first started. So you do not need a shitload of money to get started wholesaling. One of the biggest pros that there is. Another one is, is that you never actually own anything you never own any property you never own any land all you're really doing is middlemanning a transaction so there's very little risk in terms of losing a bunch of money or turning out upside down in a flip or defaulting on a loan or a mortgage you don't have any of those worries it's just a quick easy less pressure transaction when you're just being the middleman another pro of wholesaling is you don't need to leave the house now again you can do this while flipping for sure there's people that flip virtually all over the world but i would definitely say it's easier to virtually wholesale 
than it is to virtually flip. There's a lot more issues and situations that arise when you're flipping that are gonna cause to need you to be in person and have your eyeballs on the situation yourself versus wholesaling. There's really not a big reason to ever leave the house. You can do everything based off of pictures, phone calls, and texts. So whether you don't have a car and you, or like me, you don't have a license and you're a fucking felon, you can still do everything that you need to do to wholesale real estate. Another great thing about wholesaling is you don't really need a lot of experience. I mean, I taught myself as I went, I sucked in the beginning, got a little bit better in the middle, made some mistakes towards the end, revamped, started over. You're just constantly learning and you can do all that with fucking YouTube. I haven't read a single book about wholesaling or real estate in general since I started. Everything I learned was from YouTube University and I was able to get to where I am. Now let's get into the cons of wholesaling because there definitely are some. Like I said before, it's very up and down. I went four months without getting paid and making any money from wholesaling. And you know, some of you, if you thought about going four months without money, it would, it would blow your mind, your life would be over. So you have to be prepared to be responsible with the money you do have allocate funds properly to make sure that you can stay afloat if you do have down months because nothing's ever promised as good as you could be on the phone as good as your data could be for all you know everybody you talk to might just not want to sell their house and it might take you a month or two months before you get paid again and that's just something you got to be prepared for if you're going to wholesale real estate another con is you never actually own property now while that's good because of what i mentioned earlier there's less risk defaulting on mortgages something happening to the property etc cetera, etc cetera. when you do own property you get a lot of tax benefits that you don't get when you're wholesaling you never build up a rental portfolio or increase your overall net worth or your wealth it's more like a job like you're working and getting paid rather than you're passively collecting. Another potential con, depending on your personality type, is it requires you to be a people person. You could buy a house from a real estate agent, go work on it, flip it, sell it to somebody using a real estate agent, and never have spoke to another person the entire time. Wholesaling, you gotta make friends with attorneys, title companies, the seller themselves, the seller's grandma. You gotta pet the seller's dog. You gotta make people like you. It's all about relationships. So if you're not a people person or a salesy person, that's something you're gonna have to teach yourself if you wanna get into wholesale real estate because it definitely requires that. Another con is that it's constantly evolving and the laws are constantly changing. So it's not like you just learn it and then you're good for 10 years or 20 years. Like people that flipped real estate in 1970 may have not learned another new thing since then and could flip a house today. Wholesaling, you got to learn new shit every month, definitely every year to stay up to date. Make sure you're not doing anything illegal as well as make sure you're updating your systems and processes so you can stay current. How I wholesale real estate a year ago is not even possible now. And my whole company got derailed and I had to make a new company with a new process just to be able to continue wholesaling. The whole industry ebbs and flows. Now let's get into the pros and cons of flipping houses. Now some of the pros of flipping real estate are the fact that the payouts are higher. You know, for the flip that I'm doing right now, I told you I'm getting 15 to 20,000. That's because I'm splitting it with a partner, but we're to in total, we're making 35 to $40,000 profit on the flip. Now I did make a $30,000 wholesale deal profit last year, but even my attorney told me that's something you rarely, rarely see. There's not a lot of stuff over 20. So generally your profits from a flip are gonna be 20, 40, 60, $100,000. That's a shitload more money in the long run, even though it takes a little bit longer to get it. Another pro of flipping real estate is reputation and connections. When you flip real estate, you get to meet a lot of people, contractors, subcontractors, title company people, real estate agents, and everything in between. And it kind of gives you a name in the community. People look at you with a little bit of positivity or admiration when you're a flipper. Being looked at as a wholesaler almost has a negative connotation to it in a lot of circles, whereas flipping real estate, you're looked at as the good guy, hard worker. So it's just, it, it builds you more positive clout in the industry. You also learn more about real estate overall as a flipper, I feel like. When I wholesaled exclusively for the first, you know, year-ish of my real estate career, I learned a shitload about real estate, don't get me wrong, but when you're flipping real estate, you start learning everything about construction and rehab, contractors, permits. So it's just a whole nother set of knowledge that you don't quite grasp when you're exclusively wholesaling. 
which in turn helps you become a better wholesaler because like right now after going through my first flip my rehab estimates are on point just looking at pictures i know contractors i know how contractors think so i can get into the mind of cash buyers and it's not as much tedious legwork as wholesaling for example my flip right now i go and i check on it maybe once a week once every two weeks i mainly do that to shoot content i don't even need to go there if i don't want to the general contractor is handling everything i get updates it's very hands off to make the forty, fifty thousand dollars you know that I hope to make, as opposed to wholesaling where you're on the phone grinding day after day, following up, doing this, touching contacts. So it's just a little bit different, more hands off process, unless you were doing the rehab yourself personally. Now, some of the cons of flipping, like I said earlier, there's change orders that cost me three thousand dollars. Those are inevitably gonna pop up when you're doing rehabs. You don't know what everything looks like till you start ripping it apart but that's kind of an expected con you know not a really huge deal and there's the timetable like i said mine was supposed to take two and a half months we're at four months luckily because i have a 50 50 equity partner meaning somebody's funding my flip for me and we're splitting the profit on the back end 50 50 which is how you can flip real estate with zero dollars out of your own pocket because i'm doing that i don't have a loan that i have to pay interest on so the project taking longer does not really affect us negatively we're paying property taxes and mowing the lawn but you know it's not really a big deal but if you did take out a hard money loan or something to be able to do the flip and fund it yourself then you're going to be making interest payments so every month that it goes on longer than it was supposed to is going to be costing you money which when you're digging into a house let's say built in 1920 a lot of shit can pop up a lot of deadlines can get extended things almost never go as smoothly or easily as they seem like they're going to in the beginning. And it's definitely not as quick as HGTV makes you believe it is. And then there's just a bunch of shit that can go wrong. You can pick the wrong contractor who can rob you, screw you over on work, not do a good job. Now you gotta switch contractors. You could have a terrible foundational issue you didn't see before you bought the house. And now you're behind 20 grand and now you're gonna lose money on the flip. You know, I have a, I have a friend right now who lost, who's about to lose money on a flip because the contractor screwed them in the beginning and then some other BS happens and by the time the flip's done you didn't make any money you might fix up your house and by the time it's done the market has tanked and now you're sitting with your house on market for a year and nobody's bought it you know I, I look on market for houses that have been on the market for over a hundred days and some of them are brandly new rehabbed homes where they just couldn't get anybody to buy the house after they flipped it and now you're just stuck with this asset burning a hole in your pocket. The biggest con for flipping is just the amount of variables involved. You know, you, since you have a team of contractors, real estate agents, um, title companies, you gotta pay people to mow the lawn. For example, the people that I paid to mow my lawn at my flip, they shot a rock through the window, broke a window. It's gonna cost me a couple hundred dollars, take another day or whatever it's gonna take to replace the windows. So it's just little things are constantly popping up. It is so nuanced and, and you almost have to get lucky to have it go perfectly from start to finish. For the students in my mentorship, we break down their situation exactly and figure out if them getting into flipping or wholesaling is ideal and the best way for them to go about wholesaling or flipping houses given their budget and their situation. So for, for me, what would I recommend? Well, I would probably recommend wholesaling real estate. Like I said, there's less variables involved and even though I could have got somebody to fund a flip for me when I first started and I could have jumped straight into flipping, I would not have had the knowledge or the experience or the information that I gained from wholesaling for a year to have successfully pulled off this flip. Not to mention, I found this flip doing wholesale marketing. I simply couldn't find a buyer for the deal because it's kind of in a very niche area, but I ran the numbers by my attorney that I use and he thought the numbers were so good and the deal had so much potential that he offered to fund it for me and be my partner on it. And that's how I got into my first flip with zero dollars. I'm gonna make a full video for you guys next week, breaking down exactly how you can find somebody to fund your flips and get into flipping real estate with zero dollars out of your own pocket, just like I did. So make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss it when that comes out. So that's why I would probably recommend wholesaling to most, if not all new beginners. It's a little bit easier, a little less barrier to entry. And you really do need a base of good knowledge before you flip a house or you're going to be gambling and risking losing money. Wholesaling is also a good avenue to just put some Benjamins in your pocket before you start flipping houses so you have some of your own money, a little bit of wiggle room, and create yourself a little bit of a financial cushion. Now, if you guys want to sit down with me and figure out what your best course of action is, I'll set you up with all the tools. Be there every step of the way to make sure that you are successful wholesaling and flipping real estate as a beginner. Then click the link down below 
below in the description. Go check out my Jamestown mentorship. Stop sitting on your hands, being lazy, and let's change your life. You're in Jamestown now. Relax, take some notes, and let's make some fucking money.